Right after the Galwan clash, India had deployed a warship in the South China Sea, sending China into a tizzy. And now, India has taken a key height in eastern Ladakh and an untrustworthy China is crying out loud. China's biggest geostrategic fears are coming true as India is now boldly using its strategic location at the Strait of Malacca to hurt China in the South China Sea. Two Indian Navy warships have reportedly set sail to join the US Navy destroyers deployed in the South China Sea. Now, India's secretive Special Frontier Force has taken a preemptive measure against the Chinese PLA at eastern Ladakh where China was stepping up its salami slicing tactics and military buildup. Starting with the Indian Navy, it has been active since the Galwan Valley bloodbath. ANI has quoted government sources as saying, soon after the Galwan clash broke out in which 20 of our soldiers were killed, the Indian Navy deployed one of its frontline warships to the South China Sea where the People's Liberation Army's Navy objects to the presence of any other the force claiming the majority of the waters as part of its territory. The immediate deployment of the Indian Navy warships after the Galwan Valley bloodshed rattled the Chinese Navy and security establishment as they complained about the presence of India's warship during diplomatic talks with New Delhi. Moreover, the recent clashes between India and China show that China's fears of losing occupied Indian territories are coming true as well. The Indian Army has come out to state. On the night of 29th and 30th of August, PLA troops violated the previous consensus arrived at during military and diplomatic engagements during an ongoing standoff in eastern Ladakh and carried out provocative military movements to change the status quo. The Indian Army added, Indian troops preempted this PLA activity on the southern bank of Pangong Tso Lake, undertook measures to strengthen our positions and thwart Chinese intentions to unilaterally change facts on ground. Meanwhile, the PLA's Western Theatre Command has said, China strongly opposes the acts and urges India to immediately withdraw the troops that have illegally crossed the line of actual control. India has now secured a key post which gives it strategic advantage in the Pangong Tso frontier as China's unprecedented military buildup and provocations have lasted for months. The negotiations are in a deadlock and China is refusing to comply by the LAC. These two actions are a big statement of intent coming from India. New Delhi is making it clear that if China doesn't stop provoking it in the Himalayas, then it will have to face consequences both on land and sea. The Indian Army's preemptive measures can show the PLA its place. The Indian Navy can go a step further and create a blockage situation in the Strait of Malacca, which would immediately block Beijing's oil supply lines and trade routes through the Indian Ocean region. Sources have further revealed that during the deployment Deployment in the South China Sea, the Indian Navy warship had maintained contact with the American frigates and destroyers stationed in the South China Sea over secure communication systems. This must also set alarm bells ringing for China's security establishment, as the Australian Navy has already been ganging up with the US Navy in the highly contested waterways. Now, India is also cooperating with the US Navy in the South China Sea, and before Beijing even understands what is happening, Japan might also join in with its three Indo-Pacific friends and eventually the entire Quad could encircle China in its own littoral zone. The Indian Navy's presence in the South China Sea creates a strong deterrent against Beijing in the Himalayas. India is willing to increase the sheer costs and risks associated with infiltrations and transgressions into its soil. China will now have to think twice before going ahead with salami slicing tactics in India's Ladakh or Arunachal Pradesh. An active Indian Navy in the Indo-Pacific is China's worst nightmare and a bold Indian army in the Himalayas will not shy away from giving China yet another bloody nose in the face of more provocations.